If I was sitting here, which I've sat here before, I would have been dead. <laughs> You're too old to be doing that. You're like, oh my god. Mike sucks ass, so it's amazing to watch him. All right, welcome back to the night shift, ladies and gentlemen. You're working late, and so are we. It's time to clock in. I'm in the beautiful sanctuary of Dorado Beach, Puerto Rico, right now. Part of the United States of America, home to people like Bad Bunny, but of course, home to a friend of mine. His name's Logan Paul. We've been to some of the other places he's been staying at, but for the first time ever today, I'm gonna show you the house that he now. Oh! Some would call him the goat of YouTube. Why don't you start with that? What's I know that? it says that. So kitchen area, kind of like a lounging little living room, and then we got two bedrooms. Comfortable TVs in each room. It's beautiful, but I, I, it looks like what you had at 1600. I have, I've left out some information. This is actually the casita. What does that mean? I don't speak Spanish. Right, the house next to the house. Can you show me? Yeah, there, there's a bigger portion. Okay, show me, show me. That's the house. Thing. This looks like it would look awesome at night. It looks really good at night, yeah. Got a grill for the for the for grilling. Finesse and blessing, baby. <laughs> <laughs> what are you stuffing up, bro? Bro, I'm doing the Don Don 5000. Mike comes up to me yesterday and he goes, "Hey, bro, this house is nice and all, but just out of curiosity, who's the gang member in your kitchen?" <laughs> <laughs> the first thing I hear him talking about, he's like, "So, anyways, I'm in San Juan, and these motherfuckers come up to me, and I'm like, ba bang, dude, and then they are dead on the." I'm like, bro, this dude cooks. His food's great. It's great. His food is great. Look at this kitchen, bro. Talk yeah. to me about the countertop. Look at this. Come here. Look at this. Look at that. <laughs> you can watch television. Amazing. Oh, it's a protection shield. shield if someone comes in from there. It's a, it's bulletproof. <laughs> Let's talk about the architecture. Watch out, guard dog. Super open floor plan. Does this door open to the pool? Yeah, so it does. Out? Yeah. Wow. Now you got that girlfriend now, yeah? How's that going, by the way? So good. I love her so much. Have you guys entertained any guests over here, like any soirees or galas? You guys are kind of the first ones to to, to pop by. I'm, I'm sorry. I gotta I gotta address the elephant in the room. What is that sound? I. I... <laughs> <laughs> That's sir. Hi, buddy. That's my favorite. No, yeah, I was I was gonna like parlay into it because right. clearly the showpiece of the house, but let's just get right in. <laughs> and now a word from our sponsors. So this may seem odd to a night shift foreigner, but for my day ones, welcome back to the Poets Corner. One question I get so much that it hurts is, Mike, where do you get these amazing t-shirts? Like Rick and Morty, Seinfeld, and Kamar Usman. Well, I'll answer that now and then you really can't lose, man. For the Warriors and Knight Rider and all of these things, I go to the number one streetwear store called Culture Kings. They have tees that are sure to produce a grin and best of all, they have clothes for those who clock in. So if your wardrobe is ill, let this be your prescription and use code Mike for a discount at the link in description. I hope you OGs enjoyed this segment just a bit, sort of maybe. But we've got more work to do this week, so let's get back to the night shift, baby. This is Dudley. He's a 66 million year old Triceratops. About 70% actual bone. It's a piece that holds value. It's beautiful. It's a hallmark of what once roamed this earth. It's just mind blowing for me. What's something like this run you? That was half mil. The fact that his head is almost the same size yeah. as its head yeah. is actually crazy. <laughs> so right now you're putting the blinds down because the sun's in our face. Everything in this house seems to be pretty technologically savvy, yeah? Yeah, I guess it's like a smart home. Not the owner, I guess. Uh, anyways, so this is one of the main living areas. What are you watching on this here TV? Bro, so right now, The Bachelor. Bachelor Nation, tell me what you think of this. It might be a hot take, but like, I find Zach incredibly vanilla and a little emotionally immature. <laughs> yes, that's what they're called. Who are they? Nation. They're people, bro. No, they're, they're not people. people. They're not people. It's us. Is it like old it's, it's, it's not me. It's like it's Bachelor <laughs> Nation. Signed glove by <laughs> Jake Paul and Tyron Woodley. <laughs> Just dropped in value a little bit over the past week. A little bit, but it's fine. Still a winner. YouTube plaque. Nah, I'm not gonna brag. Listen, I think I was the fastest person to hit, go from zero to a million subscribers. Ever. You were there when I pulled that out of the earth. Yep. Amethyst crystal. Yep. Love that piece. And then uh, a Nike Air Mag that I got for originals. I'll just show them mine really quickly. There's probably what, like 
four or five or even six of these that look very similar to this one. This is the vibe, bro. Super clean aesthetics. Open up this sliding door. I'm outside at this beautiful pool. Real Puerto Rican environment. Kind of got that like natural jungle aesthetic. What happened right there? The glass panel like this, about a hundred pound glass panel that was right there, wasn't locked in the right way. And it came sliding down like a fucking guillotine <laughs> and crashed into that glass panel and exploded all around the house. If I was sitting here, which I've sat here before, blasted this pi picture on my Instagram, I would have been dead. Say you have guests downstairs, they're watching TV, you and Nina can like chill yeah, out up here and exactly. have to do your own thing. Yeah. So there's like a whole nother living room right here, TV, security cameras everywhere, not really anywhere you can go in this house without being watched. Who's watching them? Imagine we go in the back, there's like a little... <laughs> His name's Miguel. <laughs> he's, in, he's just in the closet. He's chilling, yeah. Guys, this is the grand reveal. It's not ready yet, but... It's just not done, bro. There's no rug. This isn't the bed frame, but it's it's cool. This closet is probably bigger than the majority of your home in Ohio. Nate Diaz said I'm spoiled. I think he's right. But bro, also, what the fuck? If you work hard and make enough money to spoil yourself, is that wrong? God strike me down for fucking achieving my dreams. She got me a Rubik's Cube with our pictures on it. <laughs> What's it been like having a girlfriend? So nice, bro. Me and Nina have been trying to convince Mike to go on The Bachelor. I, bro, you'd be so good at it. Because you have a great, exuberant, bright, charismatic personality that I think America would fall in love with. This is where he takes his showers, if you were interested. Maybe you weren't. I wanted to show you guys what it looks like when you work your butt off. Happiness uh, is not about a destination. It's about a journey and I get to do what I love and I'm really fucking grateful for it. And what I love happens to yield really big blessings. What are you doing? I'm doing one. You, no. You're not gonna do one. No way. No way. I don't need to get I'm not gonna get no fucking hernia. You're gonna right? imagine his intestine just you're blow out of his stomach. Oh, shit. oh it's sideways. Oh, shit. Shit. Fuck, bro. Oh! You guys have probably noticed lately. I'm in the gym. <laughs> five, six days a week. And I no, wanna... we don't notice that. <laughs> Wait, look, he got done that. You look like done right that. <laughs> I'm so sorry, I'll go over there, I'm so sorry. The melting candle. Damn, look at these fucking things. Are they filled with air? What's in them? Do they have any actual relative strength to them? Well, today we'll find out. <laughs> Logan Paul and the other biggest weightlifter here in PR right now, Mike Malak, are gonna have an old fashioned Western bench off Ooh! right now. I'll get right into it. You want me to throw him in the air? I'm just gonna warm up with that. I say we throw on another. How many you do? 90. Oh, just right off the bat, just right go to two plates? Right to 225, yeah. yeah. Bro, come on. Come on <laughs> bro, I'm gonna be honest with you. This was supposed to be like a whole segment, bro. This is me, this is Max. 225, this is the way they do in the NFL combines. Let's get it on. I'm ready, but here's the thing, Miller. I gotta say this. I'm ready for you not to be the spotter. I'm sorry. Dude. You gotta get the <laughs> <laughs> dude, I, can, I do not want to fucking die it, today, I bro. All right, I didn't really think this through because I can't do this weight. What? Dude. What? I don't think Come I'm on, dude. Once. You can't even bench your body weight? I'm not 225. Stop fat shaming me, fucking <laughs> assholes. Why don't you take one of these 45 pounders and stand on it? You can finally be five foot six. Get the fuck out of here. Up, 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 Mike. Yeah, 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 Mike. Yeah! Come on, Mike! Take it, take it. Come on, Come on bro, you I, almost I, had it. The dog licked like my this. face. Okay. Did you get the dog licked my face? The dog, I'm not Rick making an face. excuse, but it scared me a little bit. No, I didn't want it to drop. I get it's annoying. The dog kissed you, he said you could do it. I've, I've, I don't bench, since high school. Well, no, they bench you when you play sports. <laughs> what? But he don't bench himself. Oh, oh shit. Oh, no. God, he's so hot. Oh, fuck. All right, so let's uh, count who got what. <laughs> <laughs> so his arms aren't filled with air, dude. So that was 205. As you guys who are in the gym know, so much of it is mental. When I sat down, you guys heard me say, I can't do this weight, I can't do this weight. But I just did 205, no problem. That's an important lesson to all you guys watching this dude how you talk to yourself is so important bro if you psych yourself out before you do something you're not gonna be able to do it I probably even now at the end of the workout can go in there and do two plates cuz I'm not psyching myself out prove it then I think the message here is 20 is a lot. Yeah, yeah, maybe picture. 20 pounds is a lot. I don't know. Give me two weeks and I will do an update on a future vlog of me putting that off. Ah, ah. Bro, if you're having a panic attack or like just an overall mentally poor day, hop in the fucking ice bath, you'll forget all about your problems. Right, different temperatures. Is there a thought that you, in your mind, that you go to to try to make yourself feel better? When it's really fucking cold, straight up disassociate. 
So like, I'm not Logan Paul, I'm not in a bath, I'm not even here right now. Exactly. See what happened with Selena Gomez and Kylie Jenner? What did they do, they went to the golf course? You see what happened with Kai Sanat, he beat the record? I did see that, okay. that kid's a superstar. You see Nate Diaz was talking shit I about you? That, yeah, he, he called me spoiled. Uh, that was a fake fucking blitz, Kevin! Well, they're real. <laughs> why do you think they're dying? Oh, they are real. He goes, why do you think they're dying? Because Logan <laughs> thinks they're fake plants, bro. <laughs> right off the bat, as you get out, how do you feel? Great, this is the best part. Zoom in on his <laughs> No, because it's basically non-existent. <laughs> <laughs> Show him who's boss, Michael. Ask me real hard-hitting questions. How's your sister, Abby, and her new daughter, Sloane? If you have 50 bucks right now, what would you buy? Do you think Aiden Ross is, is off his rocker? You know, I'm starting to have second feelings about Puerto Rico. I've been pretty outspoken against its location, as well as its solitude. Lack of grocery stores. This trip has been different, dude. That new crib is sick. I made a PowerPoint to convince all my friends to move out here when I moved here, and no one came. Bro, I'm gonna be honest with you. I had, I needed a life of my own, bro. Well, you how's that going? Not very good, dude. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm kidding. All right, let's go for a swim. Night shift, you can come for a swim with me, come on. Oh wait, we can't go in with the Sony, right? Make it a GoPro. <laughs> What's up guys, super happy to be back. Took a mental health break if you guys were wondering where I've been. This I have food poisoning and I think I'm about Please. to puke and shit myself. Wait, can you say what you were saying one more time? I have food poisoning. Shut up, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> That's my favorite meme in the whole world. Shut up, bitch. <laughs> Yo, we're in Miami. You see the puffiness in my face, I haven't slept. I've slept a total of three hours. How many hours have you slept since you've been here? Zero. I'm so sick of reading the comments. Where's Jeff Wittick? Where's Jeff Wittick? This is The Night Shift with Mike Manlack. If you want to watch Jeff Wittick, watch Jeff FM. Or watch David Dobrik's old fucking fucking... Oh, whoa, 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 bro. That's too far. Whatever. Listen to me. Burgers in Miami, not exactly the easiest thing to find. There's a place called USBS, United States Burger Service. It is fashioned completely around the United States Postal Service. The regular one single burger is called Ground. The double burger is called Two Day. Overnight? Express mail? Sure. The way I feel right now, if there's an onion on this, I'm launching it across the street. The people who started it also were like bakers before they started this place, so these buns are baked fresh here. Double smash patty, American cheese, and priority sauce. When you order the burger, they tell you when it's done, it'll be sitting in the mailboxes right in front of the place. They keep that postal service theme the whole way through. Wow, super dope, <laughs> super dope. USBS. 305 Miami Beach, suck my fucking <laughs> tana, please. <laughs> Honestly, Put it ladies. on your OF. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Wow. I'd like to express this baby right into my tummy. They just baked this bun. And the sauce and cheese mixture, I know it's not the right one if, you're, if your stomach's feeling fine. Oh, I'm, I'm actually gonna kill but myself. Not because, but not because of the, the burger. Is it's an amazing, amazing phenomenal. burger. Yeah, it's so fucking wet. <laughs> you know, I'd say the top of the burger, like the top 70% is incredible. But if you flip it upside down, this soggy patty kind of reminds me of back in like school lunch. I'm going to subtract two for the soggy bun on the bottom, but I'm going to give the top 75% uh, a 12. So we're going to end up at a solid 10 out of 10. <laughs> you know the deal. It's good to be back on the night shift. Thanks for joining me. Both of you guys, honestly. Thank we we've created me. a little bit of a family. This is like Sunday supper. The three of us Absolutely. sitting down around the table. Later on tonight, we can watch America's Most Wanted together. Aww. American Psycho. Let's see Paul Allen's burger, huh? Let's see Paul Allen's card. <laughs> no, it wasn't. That, funny. that wasn't that funny. Let's see Paul Allen's burger. That's funny to me. Real legitimate laugh. Do I look <laughs> insane? I was laughing for real. <laughs> David looked so unentertained right now. I used to like filming with David because it was like fresh. You know, it's a new camera guy. Yeah. But he's sick of me now too. Yeah. He's like, what is this guy back for? Why do we have him back? He's not funny. He's just, you know, he's dry. I don't give a fuck. Fries. Government cheese. Are you sure you really want me to do this? Okay. It's amazing. Oh. It's so good. It's the best fries I've ever eaten out of my entire fucking life. The word I would use. Oh, she actually puked. Oh, she threw up. Top three burgers that I've had in Miami in this fast casual department. I'm gonna say USBS. Where's my mail? Postal officers coming to the house, got a special delivery for Jeff Wittick and Tana Monjow. 7.9, 7.9 USBS, and I'm sick of your yeah. shit, and I'm sick of your shit. I'm going back to Los Angeles, guys. As always, I appreciate you, I love you. Thank you so much for working late with us. We're clocking out, peace!
Um, yeah. If you you could jump down three steps. What was and, that last word? <laughs> You're on a big talk show, right? You did it, did it, You guys just saw one of the most impressive bench off contests. Shut up! Shut the f up! What's going on? What's he thinking? Is he is he is he pondering? Is he um, grieving? Hey, buddy! You may notice the blue tape denotes an area you're not supposed to go into. Listen up, buddy, and I'll try to keep it short. <laughs> Are you referring this to my height? Because you know that's where you cross the line with me, bro. Damn, Mike, I entered your competition and won. You gonna do it again? Yeah. Nope. nope. But could you use the part where he was helping me in the- yeah, All your shit's cut, George. Sorry. You're not a part of this bench off. I'm sweating. It's fucking oh, Puerto Rico. It's 900 degrees. Fuck you, David. What's this? Just a sign that says fuck off. Like, this is what I would think y'all would see in your house. My energy has completely <laughs> shifted, bro. <laughs> and every day, if you just turn on your iPhone, you can see the Paul brothers winning. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, if you're watching the WWE, you guys better get used to it. <laughs> that was good. Can you be my Paul Heyman? I'm gonna need you to gain some weight. Never mind, you're there. Who said that? I did. I don't give a fuck about these burgers. I'm just <laughs> pretending to for you, so you leave me alone. That's cool. Shut up, bro. I'm fing doing something, man. I'd like to express this baby right into my tummy. <laughs>